Hello guys, welcome to the first tutorial of blockchain concepts. So in this tutorial series, I'm going to basically uh, describe about blockchain concepts and the practical concepts of blockchain. So I'm going to explain the practical theory of blockchain in this concept. And I also plan to uh, do it by coding by using uh, Solidity as the smart contract languages. So that would be do in our later stage because first of all i want to explain what is blockchain in a practice in a theoretical way so today i'm going to start off with the basic concepts that we actually require to understand blockchain so uh, we're going to describe about some distributed systems that we uh, would study today so on the screen you could see is a client and a server architecture which is basically a web 1.0 architecture so a client and a server architecture we, fa we face in a day-to-day -day life for example uh, if you're browsing a site we click on a button the server responds us by some data and we could see the data so this is a basic client and a server architecture that has been followed since a uh, lot of time now so server basically consists of our code which we place and is basically active 24 into 7 so whenever we request the server it fetches us the information so if we buy a hosting for example a godaddy and host our code so it places it on a server which runs on their backend and it returns us the query whenever we want so next came web 2.0 architecture which we basically uh, use in whatsapp like uh, this is a quite complicated structure that i could see here but uh, to be explaining it on a pretty short note is that uh, we send a message over the server to whatsapp and it reaches to another user so when it reaches to another user and uh, suppose he reads it he reads it that is considered as an acknowledgement so it comes back to the server and then goes back to the client as an acknowledgement so that is web 2.0 where we follow the concepts of sending a message and then receiving the acknowledgement of it so this is the basic concept of web 2.0 the next concept that came in is the web 3.0 which is the concept that we would be that would be actually studied in the study of blockchain so blockchain is based upon web 3.0 architecture so we must be already aware of the web 3.0 architecture as uh, we have seen it in torrents so the torrents use a web 3.0 architecture that i'm going to describe in a minute so for example the web 1.0 i mean web uh, web 2.0 architecture that i described was based on a centralized concept for example we have a server that is this and these are the clients so the disadvantage of centralization is that when a central server fails all of the client fail like if this gets destroyed then I have no source of information. So what happens in case of decentralization or web 3.0 technology like this is my main point which connects all other nodes in my network. So if this has a data and this gets destroyed then I have two more options of the data so in web 3.0 architecture what happens is that we have a concept of nodes so each node can behave as a client and as well as a server so if i am a node on the network i would have the data which i can share with other nodes in the network so even though these nodes are good at handling and handling privacy issues for example uh, if this node gets destroyed then i have the option of getting my data from these all nodes so this is the basic structure that we have studied in the concept of torrents so what happened in case of torrent when we download a torrent it searches for other peers in the node which has the same file downloaded already so what it does is that it brings a part of the file from this node a part of the file from this node apart from this apart from this so even if this is lost i have other options to retrieve my data from it so this is the concept of web 3.0 that we distribute our data to all other peers in the network and then at the later on we fetch the data from each and every one of them so uh, this concept has a lot of advantage for example security and privacy are the main advantage of these concepts 
but it faces some of the disadvantages that we have already studied such as the Byzantines problem and some inconsistency issues. So in the next tutorial I'm going to discuss about the Byzantines problem and uh, what is the disadvantage of the web 3.0 technology. So guys thank you for watching this tutorial subscribe for more and stay tuned.